Hello guys and welcome back to my channel Civil Construction and Tutor and in this video I'll show you how to design a built up column so basically a batten uh, column and for this we'll be using this excel sheet and if you want this excel sheet just click in the link in the description and you will get mail from us regarding how to purchase it I have already uploaded a video for the theory part of this designing you can check that I'm just showing how to use this excel sheet now so for this uh, designing of the built up column in this excel sheet we need certain data from ETABS that is the axial force length of the column so we'll go accordingly so first we uh let us start with the yield strength of steel so you can just uh, compare or check from the design so let us go with the designing over here and steel frame design so start design check and let us select uh, any of one of the column with the highest axial load so generally uh, the axial load will be maximum on for the middle columns so let us assume with this one right click on this and go for the details and here we'll get the required data here you can see the uh, critical combo for the design and for the yield strength of steel which is so fy 250 and this is 410 okay partial safety of factor so we'll keep this value as same here 1.25 1.5 and 1.1 similarly type of connection so face to face so basically with the a built up column we get two options either one of this that is face to face so the face of the channel section is face to face or we can go for the back to back so this is from the back to back so either of the connection the difference will be the uh, designing of the batten plates considering that the moment of inertia of the section of the axis becomes same so that is the principle we will go on that later on so for now let us assume we are assuming face to face f to f and after that we have number of battering system 2 obviously we will have number of battering system as 2 so 1 2 if it was a uh, angle section suppose over here 1 2 3 4 then we will have 4 number of battering system so for now it is 2 and length of column so you can get as the height of the story over here so this comes as 3.048 so it is okay and design axial and design axial load in the column so right clicking on this so you can get over here so n 90 minus 98 so let us check for the other columns as well if there is a higher load for the axial force so it is minus 116 minus 112 so okay let us assume as 116 that means 120 sorry uh, 120 over here both ends hinged so basically this will be for the value of k that is the effective length factor so if we consider we have basically four this is from is code as well so i have prepared a table over here so end condition so if it is both end fixed 0 0.65 one end hinge one end fix 0 0.8 one and two so let us assume this as both ends hinged so that gives the value of k as one okay so effective length will be 3048 mm design compressive stress so basically this is generally taken as 60 percent of the yield uh, sorry yield strength of the steel or we can also have a assuming value over here so for angle sections the value ranges from 90 newton per mm square to 100 newton per mm square similarly for simple and for i built built up section 100 to 120 but we are just considering 60 percent so it is okay over here or you can also go for the less value so now area required of column so at the base this comes as 800 mm square now for one channel section area required will be 400 mm square now we have to select an area section considering this value 400 so for now let us assume a value that is channel section 125 so for this design i have considered ismc 125 so let us check if it is sufficient or not and make sure that while entering this value we have to write ismc 125 because i have prepared a table over here like this so this is from is code as well so you have this table from the is code is uh, 800 so for this is the steel code so for mc75 i have just considered for the uh, medium section of the, uh, that is channel section and with this uh, ismc uh, 25 we haven't considered for the asterisk value just simply m20 uh, mc125 mc150 mc175 so you will get the value of then 
for example d is the overall depth like this and in case if you want to add other uh, parameters like uh, jc lc or something like that you can add over here and make sure to select this value that is vlookup so it is for this table only so you'll get the value of ismc 125 accordingly for these all parameters which are required for the design of the channel section or sorry built up section so for now i'm keeping this as ismc 125 so i'm trying to say that it should be ismc 150 let us say then you will uh, it will uh, give me the value of ismc 150 from this table but if i just write 150 it will not give or if i don't provide a gap over here it will not give me the uh, data that i'm required because i have prepared a table accordingly so because i have a gap in the table of is code as well so i uh, i have provided a gap over here as well so ismc 125 so if i want to have lc then make sure the data over here is for lc like this islc 125 and you can get the value for islc from here islc 125 so i will be adding all this value over there and it should be islc here as well now i will get the value so for now i'm just keeping this ismc 125 now other things are very simple i will get the value of a that is the area required for one that is the uh, area sectional area for ismc 125 so this we get and this is for the two numbers of section because we are considering two channel sections and other things like uh, depth width of the flange center of gravity so all these things are from the table so these are the values that i have taken third step is the built up section properties so these are the value we get from here and now we have to consider the slenderness ratio and this is basically r minimum and it is computed considering r x x so over here that is i z z don't get confused with i uh, i z z or uh, i x x so basically we are considering that now buckling class so for any built up section the buckling class will be c class and 10 percent is to be increased for taking care of the shear for a built up section so 58.86 this is the slenderness ratio and with respect to this using is 800 2007 and table 9 a b c d will be calculating the value of fcd that is the design compressive strength so i have uh, prepared a table over here as well so this is from the is 800 you can check over there now this is the slenderness ratio kl by r and the value ranging from that will be considering the uh, design strength so for fy that is 250 for now so we'll be considering this value and the other parameter that is the slenderness ratio so for slenderness ratio of 58.86 that ranges from value of 50 to 60 and 250 so that means the value should lie between 168 to 183 and the value comes as 169.7 which is okay so now finally we get the design strength of the column and this is for 44.62 kilonewton and this is greater than that of the axial load now it is done now we have to design the pattern as I have already explained that uh, we have will be providing the spacing or we will be designing the uh, pattern in such a way that the moment of inertia of the section about the both the axis becomes same. So spacing between two channels. So using parallel axis theorem. So we have two options front to front or back to back and this will be dependent over this value F to F or B to B. Now depending upon this the spacing of sections should be 144.41. So from the farthest point, so you can see here this value 170 because I have provided the spacing of C section as 170. In case if it was F to uh, B to B, then obviously the value will be small. That is 66, which was 144 for the one uh, face to face. So let us keep this value as 145. You can see over here now. Spacing of buttons. So this is the button plates one. Two, and this is the spacing and the required spacing here we have two criteria and that should be and the uh, take uh, taken value of C should be less than this two so for now 
700 which is okay because it is great uh, smaller than 787 as well as 955 similarly size of the end button so we will be designing two buttons one is the end button and one other is intermediate button so if we see here in the uh, structural drawing as well so considering this as a whole section of column so these are the end buttons which are located near the support and these are the intermediate button and in general the end buttons are slightly greater than that of the intermediate button so for now size of end button effective depth so this is the effective depth and it should be minimum of 184 so considering that we can just provide a value of slightly greater than that assuming it as 190 size of intermediate buttons so it will be a smaller than that of the inter, uh, end button so this comes as 138 so providing 140 mm thickness of end uh, button plates so we discussed about the dimensions that is length and width now let us talk about the thickness and it should be minimum uh, of d by 50 and adopting a greater value that is 5 that is okay length of button so length of button is basically this thing so 145 is the spacing of the channel section now we will provide the length of button such that there is space or uh, space for the welding as well as if it is a bolted connection the required uh, distance for uh, is, uh, is distance so for now it is a weld connection so we will just consider the gap that is will be required for the welding so if it is b2b and if it is f2f we will be assigning the length in that sense so 110 that is okay overlap of the button 55 okay minimum overlap length should be 20 mm and this is basically greater than that of the thickness or four times of the thickness and gap available for the weld 17.5 okay 17 mm is available for the gap welding that is okay forces on button now we'll be designing for the transfer for uh, transverse shear and the bending so these are the value transverse shear longitudinal shear bending moment and finally we get the check for stresses in baton so these are the forces now let us check the permissible shear stresses and we are considering the intermediate baton because we are providing a smaller size for the intermediate baton so it will be much more critical than that of the end baton for the same shear force and the shear stresses and bending stresses in the intermediate baton is smaller than that of the permissible stresses so it is okay now finally for the connection design of weld so we will be providing a weld on the four sides so that is up top and uh, up bottom and the left and right side so with this value izz and for stresses developed at the end of the weld we get all these parameters and finally size of the weld required so we have two cases to go with and the minimum size required is 0.46 mm so providing a, a weld of 4 mm that should be sufficient so this comes as 4 mm that is okay finally we get the summary so this is the summary and at this point i have a calculation for the structural drawing so let me compare with the drawings as well so it will be easy to understand so see let us assume 2953 i'm just comparing with this value and a depth of end baton so 300 make sure that this value is connected to the uh, cell but for now to show with this one so 300 so length except end button so i have end button over this point and this point so from this point to this point is the length of uh, column except end button so this comes as 2353 and providing intermediate button of 200 and the number of intermediate buttons 1 2 3 4 so the spacing come as 310.6 so with this uh, the, uh, value it will be easy to draw the structural drawing now let us check for the our case so it is 3048 depth of end button is 190 length except end button is 2668 depth of intermediate button is 140 spacing of button 421 and the spacing of the button we computed is 700 and this is from center to center we have to then the minimum value we have to maintain here 700 minus 
so considering the depth of end button as 140 so 140 and the bottom will be 140 as well it should be 560 and for now the value comes as 421 so it is okay if we go for 3 562 and the allowable value is 560 so it is almost uh, acceptable so we can provide three numbers of intermediate patterns and this will be the spacing i hope this video helped you and if it did help do like and comment in the video and share with your friends and if you want this excel sheet please make sure that it is a premium resource and you have to make payment just click on the link in the description box thank you